hello hello everyone how are you doing hope everyone is okay and well prepared for your Easter weekend well this is a quick one and it's a breaking news story that I've been following so I was giving you this quick upload always remember tomorrow you can wake up and the person you love can love somebody else but a hundred dollar bill will still be a hundred dollar bill so focus on what you've got to do to make your money okay a senior treasurer officer which is a top employee of the beryllium company has been detained in connection with the portmore robberies on wednesday april 5th 2023 in the sentence area when he was held he was found to have five hundred thousand dollars cash on him this will make several people know they have in custody one of the men in custody is facing 12 charges resulting from the Sunday March 19 attack on the security team in Portmore Scotiabank branch. The robbers got away with over $23 million. Deputy Commissioner of Police in Charge of Crime and Security Fitzbailey told Radio Jamaica News that the suspect was arrested following a targeted operation in St. Anne and also that one of the men in custody has also been charged with murder in a totally different case. The first one arrested earlier this week was 24-year-old Shemar Yee of Fairview Park, Spanish Town, St. Catherine and was hit with 12 charges in relation to the attack. The charges included being a participant in a criminal organization, several breaches of the Firearms Act, and robbery with aggravation, and that's just some of the charges leveled against him. Now, now, you see the age of the first one? 24 years old. I don't have to ask you how old the others are, because better they're not too far from that either. I told you these youths don't want to work. He is at a youthful age where he can be or do so much more things with his life. He can use the skills he has to be even more productive. He is able to contribute to society. But you see what he choose to do? The get rich scheme. Quick and fast thing. The crime and violence in Jamaica has not been made easy, especially with the fact that when you look and you see ministers in government and all these people that are supposed, supposed to be setting examples, doing even more crime and worse than that and they are not getting caught. So I guess they think they can do their own thing. Lead, they see the examples there so they're following it and thought they could just get away with it like that. But there's a difference. Some people can get away with it, some people can't. So you see, all this time there was an inside link. You never see smoke without fire. My grandmother always say, you know, if anything to happen to you, if your friend or your family don't have a hand in it, certain things just can't happen to you just so. Because stranger do not know you like that. When your friends know you even better. So there we have it, all this time, an insider was a weak link in the chain. Be sure to learn from these incidences. And as usual I say, beware of your surroundings, beware of your friends. Yeah, keep your eye on your friends more than your even your enemies. Anyway guys, that was it for now. Anything further, I will update you. Yeah. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel, please. Okay, love you all. Bye for now.